coming up on T minus 31 seconds and a go for auto sequence start. TLS go for auto sequence start. Have a ground launch sequencer go for auto sequence start. Columbia's general purpose computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. T minus 20 seconds. Everything is go. The order is onboard computers have on the SRB ignition hold down post and teaser on the local. T minus 12 seconds. T minus turn. Go for engine start. T minus six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Liftoff of Columbia in mission 61C. And the shuttle has cleared the tower.
force of propellants through the main engines. At uh, 4 minutes 30 seconds mission elapsed time, velocity uh, approaching 10,000 feet per second, altitude uh, 54 nautical miles. Uh, Columbia now in space, not yet in orbit. Columbia Houston, press D'Amico. Roger, press D'Amico. Uh, that call on time, uh, advising the crew to uh, continue to fly forward uh, to main engine cutoff should one main engine fail to operate. All main engines continue to operate uh, perfectly flawlessly at 104% of rated thrust, exactly as programmed. Uh, APU pressure and speeds continue to look good. Uh, fuel cell performance is uh, also good. Velocity 11,400 feet per second, uh, altitude 57 nautical miles, distance downrange 240. Main engine cutoff would occur at uh, 8 plus 30, uh, roughly three minutes from now, and main engine performance continues to be very good. Velocity 12,500 feet per second, altitude uh, 58 nautical miles, distance downrange 276 nautical miles. Uh, standing by for a call for a single engine transatlantic abort capability to the uh, TAL site. We're using a secondary site this morning at Marone, Spain. Mission elapsed time is now six minutes even.